I love being in the dark. I don't want to know everybody's little secrets. Do you have secrets for me? I can't remember if I have too oh, many. Don't tell me. Uh, don't ask, don't tell. Make me an offer on him. Sorry? Just give me a hundred quid, you can have him. Oh, no, I don't... No, honestly, it's fine. A hundred quid. <coughs> Cash. <coughs> no questions. He's had all his jabs. No, no. Tenner. No, a tenner? I don't want to pay him. I really don't want to do this, but you are breaking me five pounds. No, no, sorry. A fiver. Cash. Not even for free, sorry. Honestly, I'm desperate. He's the last one, and it's been a long day. The money's for comic relief. It's going for a good cause. What? We don't call security. What are you calling security for? I think love is sort of sharing. Oh, yes. I think sometimes you have to give a little and you have to take a little. Yeah. So you sort of have to kind of work together. I think that's love. You want to talk about love? I think I'm in love now. I, I've gone through some tough times. Uh, I've been busted up some, but by golly, I'll tell you, when the little grandson or granddaughter comes out and, and gives you a hug, why, you know, that's, that makes life worth living, yep. I, I'm as scared of anything that's gonna eat me, bears and larger or something like that. Oh, you God. don't want to Well, I mean, if I or were- trampled to death. I mean, or, if I were out in the wild, I'd be sick with fear. Uh, you come across a mad dog or something. Oh, the worst thing. wouldn't that be horrible? Like frisbees to the head, they definitely like sting for like you know probably a good like minute or two, but like everyone's in the end like everyone's okay. <laughs> of course, always like spring. There's a season of rebirth coming. The grass is going to green up and things growing and the call in the morning of the metal lark and the killdeer, I mean, what more could you ask? That's a, that's a sign that, that uh, make, makes, makes life worth living. He is afraid of the dark, but he won't admit it. I, I'm not afraid of it. Yes, just, you are. But I don't like the dark. One of my pet peeves is having B1s fly over my, over my airspace. That's just a, you know, one of my ongoing peeves. Well, I tell you, the most unappealing thing is probably when he does snore. Uh, but his snoring alerts me that he's not dead, so that's a plus. I don't think I have too many pet peeves. I mean... I'm pretty, like, relaxed and, like, laid back, so, like, I understand that, you know, stuff happens, and sometimes, you know, you... Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll tell you something. If you live in the Great Plains as long as I have, you'll have respect for winters. They'll come and haunt you, especially if you're not prepared for them. Well, I have a fur coat. I'm sorry to say that. But to me, winter just means fur. Real fuzzy. Warm yeah, deal. fuzzy. I think the American worker is the best damn worker there is in the world. I think he's producing more now than uh, any any place in the world. He's carried the damn load. Oh, wake up. Mm. Sorry.